This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, let's talk about the Montreal show here on September 15th. Boy, this has been talked about a lot. They're going to do diesel versus, uh, as you call him the pirate. Most likely diesel will get booed out of the building as Pierre is the most popular WWF wrestler in Montreal. He was on a major radio show this past week. And most of the questions were smarter than the garden variety. When asked about Jarrett and Rody leaving. Uh, Pierre Carl Ouellette, who wrestles as Jean-Pierre Lafitte said that among the wrestlers, it wasn't a big thing. He said he hopes the fans booed diesel out of the forum and kind of laughed when a caller said it was almost sure to happen. But someone who called in brought up money problems. He said that the crew now is a bunch of young guys and he's not at all worried about the future of the WWF, but this is kind of a big deal that we're going to start promoting this and it is going to get quite a big crowd. And there's going to be controversy on the heels of this. So let's talk about it. You know, on paper, why did quote unquote, the pirate seem like the right opponent for Montreal? Is it simply because he was the stronghold there or was Pat Patterson insistent? How does that happen in this era? Montreal's weird place, man. And for whatever reason, we always book Montreal differently than we did any other place in the world. And it performed differently than, than most other markets in the world. I will say this, had Jean-Pierre Lafitte stolen Diesel's vest, brother, the place would have been sold out. We could have taken it to the stadium there. Okay. Ben Porea in French Canadian. Uh, well, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. Like the next pay-per-view is diesel and Shawn Michaels defending their singles titles against Yokozuna and Owen Hart defending their tag titles. Huh? Um, it's also important to mention that nitro has now a thing and the first live uh, head to head show will be September 25th. When raw is going to be coming from grand rapids, Michigan, it's going to be headlined by diesel versus Davy boy and WCW is going to have obviously their own thing. But I guess if you're going head to head for the first time, you need to have diesel defending the title, right? I would think so. Yes. Probably a pretty good idea. You want him to be featured. The in your and needed to have him in a top spot. The in your house that's coming up is going to be diesel versus Davey boy for the WWF title. And this is a six match pay-per-view. Of course, it's a shorter two hour show. It's got to be time at this point for Diesel to put up a great match on pay per view. Uh, but before we get there, we've got this great show in Montreal. It, mount, it wound up being a major brouhaha because Lafitte, Lafitte refused to do the job. This is according to the Observer. For one thing, the crowd was 5,825 fans and around $85,000, which, while great by normal WWF standards of these days, was a major disappointment because we were hoping for well in excess of 10,000 fans for this match. We've all heard the story about how the, the pirate, as you say, didn't want to take the pin, didn't want to take the jackknife and Sean is behind him sort of riling him up. Shane Douglas has told this story in a bunch of shoot interviews. It's now a legendary story. I don't know that we even have to rehash the whole thing. What do you remember about this and, and the fallout? Well, you know, going back in, the again, just the feeling in general about Montreal and how to handle Montreal and having to be booked differently and what have you. It, it puts you in a in a situation that what you're doing elsewhere, everywhere else around the globe, you have to you have to change up and you have to do differently in Montreal, and that's kind of what the position that we were put in here. So Carl Willett felt that as, (laughs) as pretty much most of the French Canadians do when they're put in that position, they drew the house and that, you know, without them, you wouldn't draw the house. And and later on, when we kind of got away from booking specifically for Montreal found that that wasn't necessarily the case. Does it help to have a local star? Yes, it does. Uh, But at the same time, 
what were if it works in London, if it works in Paris, if it works in New York, and it works in LA, it's probably going to work in Montreal. So th this was just you know that that situation. And yeah, everybody everybody was stirring everyone up, and Diesel wasn't happy. And Diesel's looking at it as here I am, I'm the champion, and and business isn't that great, but I don't know that this is the right thing to do. Not real happy about going in and not, you know, he's looking at the pirate and kind of like. I don't see putting this guy over. Um, that was that's where it got just wonky because it wasn't necessarily hey Carl's going to beat you. It was let's let's come up with a finish in, in some way to protect Carl, um, and then everybody just kind of disturbed the shit and and got it riled up to something more than it needed to be. And I wasn't there. You know, I heard uh, Kevin said, well, let's just go on out there and see what happens. But let, me, let me interrupt you right there and tell you what, what Meltzer wrote. He says Lafitte did a ton of local publicity for the match. And when he arrived for the show, he was told by Tony Gurria, it was a jackknife finish. And he immediately refused. Gurria told him or, or tried to talk him into it. Uh, but Lafitte said he thought the finish would not only hurt him, but hurt future crowds in Montreal. And he said he would walk out and not do the match and cost himself the job rather than do the job. Finally, Vince McMahon is called at home. He has a 15 minute conversation with the pirate and they agree to a double count out. Diesel was really mad about this, which was made worse because Shawn Michaels was riling him up saying that he's our champion. He should take the finish. There's always been heat between Michaels and the pirate to begin with. And Michaels isn't well liked in the WWF dressing room. And if people try to defend Michaels pointing out his work rate, the response is usually that Pierre can do anything Sean can do. And Pierre said he'd do a job for diesel anywhere else except his hometown, but that didn't quell the hostilities. And there's a lot of bitterness that led over into the ring. It is about 60% of the crowd that is pro uh, diesel, but the other half is firmly behind, you know, their local hometown hero. After the match, Michaels comes out backstage and begins cussing him out. Pierre responds in kind and Pierre gets so riled up. He goes to Diesel's dressing room, but no blows took place. And it was definitely the talk of the territory. And the following week, Meltzer would write the rematch between the two on September 16th in Quebec city, saw Lafitte do a leg drop off the top rope and wound up landing with his butt on Diesel's face. Diesel got up immediately and started throwing very hard punches and jackknipes him for the pin. One WWF told me the scheduled finish was another double count out, but since the night before Lafitte was saying he'd do the job anywhere, but Montreal, I don't know if that was the case, but it was the talk of the dressing room by the end of the week, every problem was cleared up. And that's probably why Lafitte did a clean job on raw the following week. This has become shoot interview lore. And a lot of people say the real catalyst of the issue was Shawn Michaels. Would you agree with that? I, again, I wasn't there and I wouldn't be surprised if it was Shawn Michaels that was stirring it up at the time and just, you know, making a lot more out of it than it was. But I also come from the school of you don't book one town, uh, different than the rest of the, than the rest of the territory and, when we got to that point in, in, in being that big of a company. So I didn't agree with the philosophy of booking Montreal different than any place else. So for me, it was, if you didn't in building your new champion and you didn't want to build him, then we shouldn't have booked the match. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.